So I've been looking for these online and everything, um, especially with the way Jennifer likes her white chocolate. And I finally found them at Whole Foods. So we have the original white chocolate and the cookies and cream white chocolate. Um, try those. And I went with Daddy at Whole Foods. All right, so let's start with this white chocolate one. Um, 30 grams is a serving. A serving is 120 calories. There are two and a half servings in here. Um, fat per serving is 10, one protein, 18 total carbs, seven fiber, seven erythritol. So that leaves us four net carbs in one serving of this. Um, ingredients are a cocoa butter, erythritol, milk, dextrin, chicory root fiber, milk fat, sunflower lecithin, salt, natural flavor, and stevia extract. Now cookies and cream. And the cookies and cream, um, same, 30 grams of the serving. There's two and a half servings in here. Um, serving is 120 calories, 10 fat, one protein, 17 total carbs, uh, six fiber, seven erythritol. So that leaves it at four net carbs also. Um, ingredients are cocoa butter, erythritol, milk, cookie pieces. So the cookie pieces are made with rice flour, erythritol, cocoa, canola oil, cornstarch, glycerin, salt, cellulose, natural flavors. Um, and then there's dextrin, chicory root fiber, milk fat, sunflower lecithin, natural flavors, salt, and stevia extract. So not very good ingredients in these uh, cookie pieces. Pieces of cookies look like mm, most of it's not good ingredients actually. I'm gonna give both of these a try. This is not something I'm gonna eat very much of myself. Jennifer doesn't care as much about ingredients though. Um, I'll try them both. So here's some of the regular white chocolate. It tastes pretty similar to their chocolate chips, the white chocolate chips. I think I might like this better than the white chocolate chips though. It tastes more white chocolatey. Um, I'm still never going to eat this over dark chocolate or milk chocolate or any of that stuff, but if you like white chocolate, it tastes pretty close to white chocolate. Now let's try this cookies and cream. They got tasting pretty close to the cookies and cream. The crunchy cookies and stuff are pretty good. Um, they just didn't use good ingredients to do it. But, tastes good. So I'm trying these. Oh, I almost fell. Um, I tried a little bit, this one a little bit, a while back, but I'm gonna try again to see if I still feel the same way about it. I was really super, excited about these because I love white chocolate and cookies and cream of course. I'm doing the cookies and cream first. I was kind of disappointed in it. I feel like it, I don't know, the white chocolate, it tastes a little odd and the cookie pieces are really hard. Um, so, I don't know if I, I mean, if I'll keep eat it again or not. But I haven't tried just the white chocolate, so I'm gonna do that now. better without the, <laughs> the hard cookie pieces. Um, it's just hard because I really, really like Chalk Zero's white chocolate. And so a lot of stuff just doesn't compare. Uh, I mean, they're okay, but I don't know how much I'll eat them. I 
Why is it hard? Because it's chocolate. You like it? Mm -hmm. Like, why are you? Like, the other chocolate is like, like all brown. It has to be all brown because I need it. Yep, this one's white and the other one's brown, huh? Yep. Now we'll try this one. Wanna try the other one? Mm -hmm. They look, look like the same one as them. It's the same, it just has little cookie pieces? Yeah, they both taste super good. I like each one. You like that one? I like both of them. You like them both? Mm -hmm. Chocolate? Yeah. Wait, wait, oh. <laughs> Is it good? You want more? Do you have chocolate with cookies in it? You like that one?